Knowledge and appreciation for food is definitely on the rise, and there are a lot of reasons for it. So you don't have to spend money at the grocery store. And you can use it for more important And your house can, And you can garden for fun. Yeah, you can garden for fun. And it's fun seeing it grow. Well, picking it, harvesting it. And a lot of it has to do with food independence that people want to have that they had not that many years ago. When they could grow their own here, they could look a rancher in the eye and know where, that their, where their product came from that they were feeding their kids. We are having vegetarian chili made with local beans. And we've got some chilies that are locally uh, grown and roasted in here. And then we have a wonderful beef stew using local grass-finished beef, potatoes, onions, a wonderful lettuce, tomatoes. And you know, for this time of year when there's really not much available fresh, it's pretty cool that we were able to do this. It gets people together, it's a community thing. Um, it, it feels good, do you want to and it's fun. We're up to seven gardens now, which is a nice number. What's really special is a grandmother or grandparents, then their children, and then the grandchildren, and everybody's in the garden at the same time, learning from each other. The kids are running around, and, and uh, mom and dad are working. The local part of it is, it's like a social network. It's like um, people used to do is to get around and socialize uh, around, the, around food. People have been doing it for millions, of, well, I don't know about millions of years, but 10,000 years at least. You interact around food, and that's what I like about it. There's more to it than just going to the supermarket and picking stuff off the shelves by far. It is, it is a community building exercise. Thank <laughs> you.